All right. Uh, hello and welcome. We have a fantastic guest uh, with us. We have Stefan Audrey. Uh, he's the founder and CEO of MediaGat, uh, a gentleman I met, in fact, uh, quite recently uh, for the National Games uh, in, in Goa. Uh, been working in the sports industry for almost three decades now. Found some amazing, amazing experience uh, to share with us, Stefan. Really appreciate you taking the time out. Thank, uh, you. thank you for being uh, being here uh, on our for our Kite Talks uh, summit. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and for your interest about my passion uh, between France and India. Amazing, uh, Stefan. Uh, I, I I I we'll talk about the India piece uh, in a bit. But can you um, tell us a little bit about how you got into sport? I mean, how how did you get into the industry? Passion? Did you play? Uh, maybe a story, and and then we can segue into uh, kind of the India collaboration bit. Okay, okay. So uh, I I will make it short because uh, my life was uh, was uh, I mean I'm 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 a, uh, uh, I don't see, I don't I don't know if you say middle age or uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so I come from the Paris area. Uh, my parents had no passion at all for for. Uh, for sports, I get the passion came from my uh, grandfathers. Both my grandfathers were passionate about sports, and I follow and uh, I follow sports. And uh, we have the chance in France to have a, a daily newspaper called L'Equipe, which is very very famous. In the newspaper that created Tour de France, that created uh, the, the all the European football championship, etc. In the fifties, um, so I, basically I learned to read in this. Uh, in this newspaper, uh, uh, and uh, I work mostly selling advertising space in the media in France, not in sports. But my passion was in sports, and uh, I had the chance to. Uh, I wanted to work in sports, and I had the chance to 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 um, to go to uh, Australia. I wanted to work for the Sydney Olympics, um, oh, so nice. I went That's there. That's uh, Sydney two thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was uh, it was uh, Christmas ninety uh, six. Uh, uh, wow. I took my family, my two sons and my wife for holidays because there was no real internet at this time. Met the HR guy and uh, and uh, to say I would like to work for the Olympics. And the guy said that does interest me because, you know, the, there are both languages at the Olympic uh, Games, French, French, English and the local, lingu local language. But French yeah. is basic. So he said, come in September. Uh, and when I came uh, September... 1997 and when i came back uh in fact uh um we say a headhunter called me mm -hmm. to take the there was a new position uh which was the uh, commercial and marketing manager of aso which was tour de france dakar alim right. Paris. uh and i got the jobs and uh, my two bosses were jean-claude Killy and were jean-claude blanc who is actually the Who's going to be the new guy? Uh, he was the head of uh, Paris Saint Germain, general manager of Paris Saint Germain, Juventus. And today they announced he's going to be the operational head of Manchester United because he works with wow. uh, Radcliffe. Uh, so I worked there and then I moved to Avassa Sports. Uh, so mostly I was uh, more working on the developing uh, commercial, the commercial and marketing aspects of uh, sports federation. Or rugby clubs, um, and uh, I wanted to restart some. Uh, and after nearly three years after, I wanted to restart some studies. So I made a high degree in a big business school in France, selling uh, also uh, advertising spots related to sports. Um, and uh, so, uh, and I still wanted to to uh, work in my passion. And uh, in two thousand. Uh, six uh, i decided to run on my own because uh, i was very happy in big big structure sports structure yeah. but at the same time i i was i mean uh, i couldn't stand anymore the useless meetings and uh, <laughs> i mean there was so so wasting time which is inherent to uh, to a big big infrastructures but did I, did I did, to... did you see that as a risk at that time probably but you know, it was it was um, it was a good. Uh, I think it was a good moment. I mean, some people they feel it at twenty years old. Some people they feel it at 
at 30, 40. Some people, they never feel it because they spend their whole life yeah in a comfortable place, which is mm -hmm. kind of comfortable. You know, the money comes every month. You've True. got some extra uh, extra advantages. and uh, But at the end of the day, you know, you know, we are French, so we only have one life. I mean, we feel, we don't know if it's true that uh, mm -hmm. you have 10,000 lives or one life. But <laughs> anyway, here we think we have like one life. So I say, oh, I'm going to spend, I was around 40 years old. Um, so I decided to launch my own business. And it was exactly at the moment where I started to travel in India. Uh, and I launched Mediagat uh, because I wanted to have an Indian, uh, something Indian in the in the name, in the name of my company. So I took, I was thinking about Banyan, but Banyan was existing. <laughs> I said Gat and Gat because I was very impressed by a trip in Varanasi. And uh, I decided to, to call it Mediagat. So uh, I asked two friends if it doesn't mean the uh, fuck off in English or something like this. In, 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 <laughs> Fair in, enough. You know, I mean, I mean I, valid, valid question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to pay because, for, for example, is uh, you say uh, Nike, for example, in French, you pronounce Nick and Nick means uh, fuck. So, uh, oh. you know, you, you have to pay attention. To <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Uh, so I say, no, it's OK. Uh, so I decided to launch Mediagat. The idea was to, uh, to uh, build operational uh, partnership between India and France in the field of sports. Uh, so I started to to travel in India in 2005 with my family. We made like a 10 weeks break. Wow. And uh, with my kids and my wife, we say, uh, where do we want to go? We wanted to make a break. Where do we want to go? We said, uh, and very, it was very strange, but we, we all decided to 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 go to India. So we say, let's go to India. And we spent nine weeks traveling all around India. Amazing. And uh, we fell in love with India. And uh, the year after, we visited other parts of India. And then I decided to stay after one month. I decided to stay uh, two weeks extra alone in India to try to understand. So it was the final of... Uh, it was at the time we were in the final versus Italy uh, at the World Cup. And mm -hmm. at this time, uh, people on the beach, I was in Mumbai, uh, in Chopati, in Juhu, uh, people were playing football and not cricket uh, mm -hmm. because they were. And when I traveled to, I love very much Kerala. And uh, when I traveled to Kochi, people say, oh, wait, the the, 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 the tuk -tuk driver, you know, the, the guy told me, where, do you, where are you coming from? I say, uh, friends. He said, oh, friends, Zinedine Zidane. So, I mean, Sports were there, but uh, and I I checked the level of uh, medals and uh, India doesn't doesn't at this time really exist yeah. on the map of sports, except cricket. True. People always say about India they say polo, <laughs> you know, uh, cricket, and uh, that's it. Um, so uh, I decided to understand and to 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 travel there uh, and to meet people, and it was very easy to meet. Uh, to meet uh, stakeholders because in India, much more than uh, than in France, people easily uh, exchange uh, uh, phone numbers to even important yep. people. I yep. traveled to Bangalore, uh, and uh, I really, it, I, I really try to understand uh, this uh, the, the 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 difference between the level of uh, in, of, of interest of in sports and the results. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made many, many, many trips. Like um, last, last uh, two, two months. Uh, I mean, last month when we met, it was my 19th trip to India. Wow. So, um, and uh, I, I, I've been to the uh, Commonwealth Games in Delhi with a mm -hmm. very good. Uh, uh, it's good. What I call a, a good bad idea. I, I, <laughs> the, but you learn from your failure that. Uh, yeah. Like the idea was uh, in Delhi at the Commonwealth Games was to attract the, the the Indian delegation to come to Paris to prepare to come to France to prepare the uh, the Olympics in London, but the community uh, the Indian community in India uh, and the connection you have with this country is so big that there was no reason that uh, Indian people would come in France to prepare London, uh, twenty twelve. So. Um, I, I just started to uh, to uh, slow down uh, my activity with India. So I developed more my activities in France, which is mostly to be an outsourced commercial and marketing manager to accompany 
companies and structures to develop uh, incomes in the field of sports with the sports ecosystem, mm -hmm. my, net, my networks, federations, events, etc. Et yeah. And uh, then there was an, al an alignment of planets in 2017. Uh, first of all, we decided to... So Paris won the Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, so which was uh, big because naturally India is not connected to... India is not connected to, to France uh, because historically India is more connected to the Commonwealth countries yeah. and, and, and France is more connected to... Uh, African countries, um, so there was no real there was no real connection at the uh, uh, at this time, and uh, but um, with Paris Olympics, India has to pay attention to what was going on in France, and then the sports minister at this time uh, uh, was a very close friend, the uh, French. Uh, close minister. Uh, her name is uh, uh, Roxana Maracineanu. She was uh, the first uh, uh, world champion in swimming. Uh, mm -hmm. And even um, I, I also took care of uh, a few Indian delegation who came to France to 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 compete there. Uh, especially the swimming feder the swimming federation, mm -hmm. and especially the the team of uh, Niar Amin. Uh, so at this time, it was uh, Virda Valcade, some. Sandy Sejual, they came to they came to France and uh, we we met Roxana like ten years before she was a uh, minister uh, mm -hmm. because I wanted them to meet the the, the uh, she's uh, Roxana is also vice Olympic champion in Sydney uh, mm -hmm. so just to make this this uh, this this connection uh, so there was um, there was something more uh, we had more uh, we say legitimacy le legi what do you say I mean, we yeah. were more legitimate. Correct. With 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 India, um, so the idea was for me to um, put uh, India in the best condition to prepare the Paris Olympics, because um, French people they think when they go to India that it's very different. So some people they love it, but it it is very different culturally. We are very different. Yeah. Uh, we have a chance, which is the ling we have no uh, language barrier. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if you go to Japan or if you go to China, you have more uh, language yes. barrier. But with India, we don't. True. This is the proof. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and um, so the idea was to uh, to um, help India to be in the best condition to prepare to, to prepare the Olympics. That meet uh, organize uh, help them to organize the best training sessions. Yep. Um, yeah, what I was saying is that for uh, India coming to France is something very is something very different also. I mean the 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 food, uh, the language, the way people react also. We are very different, <laughs> with the good and and bad aspect. Uh, but uh, so uh, my idea is to was and is still to make India uh, as comfortable as possible to organize the, uh, the, the improvement of uh, its delegation, Olympics and Paralympics mm -hmm. uh, in France. So, th so that means uh, training sessions, find the best um, tra pre-game pre training camps, um, help them in terms of logistics, uh, right. So when they land, someone is taking care of them to travel to the training games, taking care of the food, taking care of uh, sometimes some some sports they want to have uh, sparring partners, some mm -hmm. don't. Uh, also exchange regarding uh, um, coaches uh, um, and also make friends as a backup for um, to travel in Europe because we are we are a very small uh, country compared to India. True. And the idea is uh, France can be a backup even if they have competition in Germany, in Italy, or whatever. And I th I strongly think that if you have a, a major competition in a country, you need to you need to breathe the air of the country. You need to meet to to be in contact with the people of the country, to have the food of the country. I mean we are very okay. close to Italy. We are very close to Spain. We are very close to Germany, Belgium. I mean, 
Brussels is one hour, 20 minutes from Paris. Mm -hmm. And then it's two hours and 30 minutes. But at the end of the day, it is very, very, you need to be infused in a country when you have a competition in a country. This is really uh, what I strongly believe. So I'm here to make things running smoothly for India. So uh, I, I traveled a lot uh, last time um, when I came to uh, to India. I stayed uh, nearly uh, three weeks there um, teaching uh, because I teach in uh, IAM Rotak also because mm -hmm. one of my, what drives me also in life is to transmit uh, my passion, my, my knowledge and to open chakras of students because What's going on in India actually is not you have the first generation of uh, young people that can make a career in in sports, yep. which was not the case before, because yep. India uh, also you have to put the parents in the loop. Yes, uh, uh, because in India the culture uh, is also for parents to take major decisions uh, for their kids, like studies, like wedding uh, yes. <laughs> like uh, uh, and um, and and the, the idea is that now they consider that sports can be a social ladder uh, due probably yeah. to the success of cricket but not only uh, India India youth is more connected more open to the world they are willing more to to be on the map uh, the pride of India, uh, to uh, be successful as they are successful in education. For me, when I say to French people uh, that uh, India is world champion in education, for I mean, most as, as you know, but it's not the case in France. People they realize that most of the big companies in the world are run by Indian CEOs, <laughs> um, or even in the NASA, a big part of the engineers yeah. are from uh, from <laughs> India. Uh, and there is a major Indian diaspora all over all over the world. Um, so uh, I, I, I strongly believe that uh, my intuition in uh, nearly twenty years ago to say that India is going to be more and more on the map, uh, uh, I think it is is going to happen. Uh, and uh, I just want to have. A, little part in this and uh you don't know why because here we i mean in france we have many stakes regarding the use inclusion uh, mm -hmm. and uh but i don't know why maybe i was indian in a former life i would say <laughs> uh but the idea for me is to uh to bring a little something to help at my very uh, with a lot of humility uh at my level to to be a to be on the side of India to to improve. No, that's, I mean, honestly, um, we, well, as a country, uh, um, we should be uh, honored to have somebody like you who with the amount of experience uh, that you bring to the table, uh, that uh, uh, you're willing to put yourself out there and, 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 and help the nation and, and, and you know what? I mean, there are now. I think you know it, right? All the the youth and and uh, the young, uh, the young blood, as they call it, who are getting into sports business, uh, studying sports management, are the ones who also kind of see. You know, they they're able to uh, uh, kind of put uh, put 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 it down where they they're realizing that yes, India is headed in the right direction. And and I think you yeah you you definitely spotted it early and so if if I I mean if if we can maybe I mean of course we don't have a crystal ball uh, but if we look a little bit in the future how how do you um, where do you see India kind of progressing from we we still have not gotten I would say to our best potential say at, at least at an Olympic Games but I think we're getting there I think there's a lot of progress on the ground. Um, but but from your perspective, right? You've you've seen it from the outside. You've seen the level of 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 play across multiple countries. Um, where where do you see us head as a nation? And 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 that that's one part of the question. The second part is, of course, uh, where the prime minister has already announced that yes, we intend to host 
um, and Olympic Games sometime in the future. Um, do you think that's a good idea, bad idea? Should we not? Or, or it's it's something that will be great for us to kind of focus on as a nation, you know? I think that uh, even if we consider that uh, France is the more mature country in uh, in the world uh, regarding sports, uh, I think that um, uh, what is um, important is that sports is not only a matter of high competition. Sports is also, uh, um, we realize, and this is one of the purpose of the Paris Olympic, it's what you call heritage. Uh, or, or you reach people like me, for example, who have a passion, who fought to buy a couple of uh, tickets to be, I mean, I had a chance to to be a, 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 a fan for uh, three games, uh, winter games in Albe in Albertville, uh, uh, Barcelona and uh, Athens. And it's unforgettable experience to have people from all over the world in the street, be in a stadium. It's, it's just incredible experience. So I'm so happy to have it home. Um, especially in a city, in a city I know by heart, uh, with this good and 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 bad aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not only a matter of uh, of high competition; it's also a matter of all people who don't care about sports, who don't have the means to practice, who have. Uh, other stakes in life or they could take advantage of, of of sports and it's not only about csr and about uh i don't know what incredible people like magic bus or dream a dream does or someone like in bangalore i um, i know like parikama foundation in bangalore mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who really helps uh uh kids to use sports to put sports in the syllabus yeah, it's also um, the, the fact that uh, how you put a, a country in motion uh, to put sports in school, uh, to put sports to 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 build like uh, small sports infrastructure everywhere. Yeah, um, in India you struggle with uh, with you don't have any room for that. I mean, the main difference between uh, between France and India is that. In France, you can be easily isolated in the middle of a forest or on a beach or whatever. Mm -hmm. In India, it's impossible. You are sure. never alone. <laughs> never. It's not possible. So you yeah. struggle for the real estate. You struggle to have em to have empty spaces. And uh, but uh, the idea with of the the improvement of the evolution with smart cities, sports is definitely a, a major brick in the smart cities. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to practice also because it costs less money to invest in sports than to uh, help people with diabetes or uh, of or uh, with uh, health problem, uh, overweight in India, mm -hmm. like we have in France. I mean, we are not at the at the level of the U.S. or Mexico or, or Brazil, where more and more people are fat. Uh, which connected to diseases and it cost yep. a bunch of money for uh, mm -hmm. for the for the government. Uh, if you if you invest uh, before in sports infrastructure, you have you will have less people at the hospital, and at the, at the end of the day, it costs it costs less money, and also it gives a lot of opportunities for uh, jobs. Um, I, I know that India is looking for like 1 million PE teachers uh, yep. because you need to, I mean, sports has to be definitely uh, inside the syllabus of school. Uh, so you have the level, you, know, so you have the level of uh, high performance. You have the level of inclusion with mm -hmm. NGOs and Paralympics also. We can yep. see because Paralympics is much better in the, that that uh, you say uh, valid. I don't know what you say in in, in English. Um, that other uh, that people who can practice sports with no no problem. Uh, but definitely, sports is a major break in the society to improve the life of of the people. Indeed. Uh, regarding the perspective about uh, hype competition, 
I would say that uh, there is no reason. I mean, I said to I said to my students that statistically, India has uh, one Zidane, one Serena Williams, <laughs> one Usain Bolt. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just statistics, okay? <laughs> uh, but you need to find him. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, so you need to put a system, especially at a grassroots level. And this mm -hmm. is really, it really improved uh, in India. But to invest at the beginning uh, is very important. India, uh, we knew like uh, people like, uh, for example, PV Sindhu before uh, the Olympics in Rio. Uh, she, she struggled so much to have money to 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 practice and yes. uh, and uh, you know she had like uh, something like uh, 35 uh, lakh uh, rupees just before just to go to train everywhere then mm -hmm. she became vice olympic champion versus martin the spanish girl yeah and then money comes i mean she becomes the seventh uh, yes. woman uh, more <laughs> paid in the sports system and uh, she's an incredible athlete she's an incredible star uh, smart girl, uh, <laughs> smart athletes, um, and uh, but the the money, I mean the the money is in is in India more and more, so it's not a problem of money. It's just the money. It's just a problem of a stake of spending the money adequately in India. Oh. Uh, so probably spend more money before before uh, mm -hmm. to identify to to nurture. To identify, to follow talents, yeah. Because only a few of them will will reach uh, will reach uh, the top. Mm -hmm. But you need to be there before and not only after. So this is yeah. Uh, yeah. this is one thing. The second thing is that I think that uh, the money has to be spent more in India than abroad. When I say to abroad that. Uh, until uh, uh, until a, a, a few years, and maybe in some sports even now, um, an Indian athlete who is very gifted, who works very well, he needs to travel outside India because mm -hmm. he needs to find spirit partners. He, he needs to find the best infrastructure, and um, and uh, and he needs to buy. He needs to rent or not to to hire uh, international coaches. Mm -hmm. So. You need to TTT train the trainers. Correct. You need to build infrastructure in India, like the IIS, for example, yep. in uh, with GSW. I mean, this type mm -hmm. of stuff. There is an incredible place in India for me, which is the uh, Center of Sports Excellence, uh, yep. that Dravid Padukone in, mm -hmm. in Bangalore, in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. airport, which is very international level. I mean, the swimming yep. pool is the same swimming pool that the that that uh, that. Uh, that in the Olympics you have you've got all the medical system, um, which is provided by uh, Abhinav Bindra Target Performance, yep. uh, and and more and more uh, money will stay in India. Uh, yep. So I really I really I really think that also the organization of of um, competition in India will uh, give a boost. It will put people in mode project in India. It will give jobs opportunities. Uh, it will be a, a, a major opportunities to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to to put the country to put the country in motion. And India can can manage uh, can manage international events. I mean the the two uh, FIFA uh, FIFA World Cup U uh, seventeen yep. men and women. Went pretty well. Yep. Uh, you have the experience of IPL. You have the experience of ISL. True. Uh, Commonwealth Games. Okay, it was messy, but at the end of the day, in 2010, they deliver, and it went it went really okay. Yep. So um, uh, I think that uh, the idea of organizing a major event and to put the country in motion uh, in sports, in project mode, around sports. I mean, sports is definitely uh, a major, a, a major um, criteria of, uh, of, uh, for, for the Indian society to show domestically and outside that uh, 
the country is moving forward. True. No, and and I think you've put it really, really well. Um, in in the sense of, at the end of the day, it does put a country in motion. But on on one hand, we do have to kind of invest at the grassroots at and and be there when the athlete really needs the money um and 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 not just after and and i think uh, when when you look at uh, neera chopra of course it took us that many years to have an individual gold from 2008 to uh, to tokyo uh, but i think where uh, i think that's uh, that's that's something that i mean you mentioned inspire institute and and, and i think that's uh, key you know you know when you have private players investing uh, a lot in, in in athletes and infrastructure and 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 now you see the government pushing as well so you know amazing uh we're reaching uh, close close to the end of um uh, our time but 2024 uh paris uh coming up uh how excited are you uh anything that we should be looking for um uh, looking forward to from from a sports management sports business perspective and and uh, i i think do you do you see any really big sort of legacy that's that's going to be left behind from uh, from the Olympic Games in in Paris? I think it's very important to have role model. Uh, India is a country of role model. When you see the importance of uh, all the communication, all the advertising with uh, Bollywood stars, or uh, <laughs> I mean, I was there during the World Cup. It's it's really incredible yeah. the the number of uh, of brand ambassador you have, men and yeah, um, yeah, yeah men and women. It's very important in sports. I mean, Abhinav Bindra opened a real door. Uh, Nirav Chopra also. And uh, I mean, you need to have a Nirav Chopra to have a, a Kishore Jina after. Uh, yes. Yes. And uh, Kishore Jina is not very far from... Uh, I mean, what he, did, what he did at the Asian Games was <laughs> nearly what uh, Chopra did uh, to win the gold sure. uh, in Tokyo in a matter of three centimeters. So it's nothing. Um uh, also, the uh, what's going on in is very, what's going on in Paralympics is very interesting also because you have a large amount of medals. I'm 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 very impressed by uh, Shital Devi, for example, uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is for me. Uh, I mean, the, an an incredible uh, role model that uh, only sky only sky is the <laughs> limit. I need to do archery in her. True, true. Physical condition. Uh, um, so uh, I think that uh, I hope India will make 10 medals. Um, that would be, a, it seems small, but it's not so small uh, at the Olympics. I yeah. think that India should take the opportunity uh, of Paris Olympics to prepare the Los Angeles generation. Yes. Um, because you don't learn the pressure you don't learn so you don't learn the uh, you don't learn the i mean you don't learn in books the the, the pressure of being in such a yeah. in such a, a big event and i think that uh, this is what i say to india i think that uh, uh, you need to you need to rely on on uh, friends in france to prepare the olympics because uh, the best example for me is the book of uh, Abhinav Bindra, uh, uh, Shooting at History, because it's it tells you so much about the details. I mean, I think it pushed the limits <laughs> too far yes. for me. But I'm not I'm not Olympic champion. I'm not even an Olympian. But it's I mean, preparing prepare preparing such an event for athletes. It's a matter of details, food, temperature, transportation families um i mean it's just a matter of little little details and uh i think that uh india is learning more and more about this and uh they have to know that uh, india has to know that uh, uh they have friends all over the world that really believe uh, uh that india can can really be more and more uh, on the map uh of sports huh it's uh jay hind yes no no i think uh we're definitely uh we're definitely headed then and and like you said i mean we have friends all over the world and and thank you for that <laughs> it's, um, really, it's a real passion yeah 
no um, um, amazing um i i'm i'm just going to kind of uh, wrap up uh, um by by something that you you said right in the beginning and and a lot of our audience is 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 a is a young audience as well uh, and and something you mentioned about how you kind of got your first uh, job in sport by showing up you know uh, by by i mean like actually physically going to an office and 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 honestly i feel uh, people these days are, are kind of little shy i mean you really have to be um, be able to kind of step up and 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 put yourself out there uh to be able to succeed not only on the management side but uh, uh on 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 the field as well and 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 but at the same time i guess uh, all all the support staff uh, uh, really really matter um uh, to everybody but uh, stefan it was uh, fantastic uh, to learn about uh, your journey and 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 i know we are of course going to cross uh, uh, paths again we're definitely going to meet uh, again in india and 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 i know your journey is going to continue in the best possible way um but uh, all all the best uh, with uh, paris coming up and uh, uh, continue to do what you do we really really appreciate it and really appreciate you taking the time out uh, for us uh, here and thank you very much for taking uh, the time of exchanging with me thank you very much